Oh, very good morning, Om Shanti to all of you listeners. And today we are here on this very channel where you can see all the different blessings and different playlists with health, up to your mental health, your physical health, and relationships too. So have a look in the playlist and let's go ahead with 268th year of a Kali blessing. What does Baba want us to change in us so that we become somebody who at the end wins? Not for short victories, but the complete victory is ours. So let's see what does Baba have to say. Baba says, may you make your harsh sanskars gentle. May you make your harsh sanskars gentle. With the virtue of tolerance. Now, how do we make it gentle? Our harsh habits are harsh. Different methods which we use or have been using till today. So as to feel that we are the best or we are good enough or we are smarter or we are better than other people. We sometimes use very harsh sanskars. Or harsh habits so Baba wants us to change those habits with the virtue of tolerance now virtue is not seen as valuable in today's world but in godly eyes that's the most valuable jewel which we need to imbibe and become a jewel of contentment so the secret of contentment lies in how much tolerance do you have in your life Let's get into the details. Papa says, those who have the virtue of tolerance are always seen to be content. You know, people are shouting at them. People are screaming at them. There's some kind of brawl going on. And they are completely content. They are not at all jittered by the situation. They're perfectly fine. People can abuse them, call them names, bring them down, show them that they are the worst people in the world, but nothing at all all jitters them or makes them feel unhappy or sad or have a mood swing why because they're in remembrance of god and they always accept only those words which god says because god is somebody who's always full of virtues and values is an ocean whereas people in the present world are not oceans of values and virtues they're oceans of vices and unhappiness and sadness because of those vices so they know the secret that what do I expect from people who are not at all full of virtues and values? Obviously, if it's my own mistake, I'll agree to it. But what we need to do, God says, is if somebody is saying certain things to you which are baseless, which are out of their anger, out of their need or out of their manipulation in which they were not successful, then it is time for you to be tolerant because that will make you content. Otherwise, You'll always be fluctuating in your own own position. Why that person said that? Why did he say something like this? Why did she behave like this? What did I do wrong? And then discontentment comes because the whole day you're thinking on why, when, who, what, where. So, Baba says, Those who are embodiments of contentment also make others content. So, they don't waste their own time into who, when, what, where, how and they get the work done. If it's an organization, whether it's your own home, they don't get into a, a don't get into a quarrel where they are wasting time and energy. Content souls who have the power of tolerance, they move ahead with the work. They make everybody content around them by saying it's okay, it's okay, let's let's focus on the work. Let's focus on the work. These things we can set them later on. They change the atmosphere, they change the energy of the place. So those who are tolerant make harsh sanskars and difficult tasks gentle. Who's their own and also the harsh sanskars of other souls also. Why? Because if you have any kind of disagreement with anybody and if you keep on pointing that out, then the other person's ego is not going to make you feel content and they'll never be content themselves they'll try to prove that point but if you use tolerance for that you have to have humility okay fine right you are right let's let's go ahead and do this work at least let's do this work maybe you are right and let's see how how we can get it done better and uh, we'll find a way to do it your way 
so then you use humility that means you have tolerance if you are not content then you will also try to prove your point you will also say no my way is the highway i am right you are wrong and the work which is there in front of you will never get finished so those who are tolerant make harsh sanskars and difficult tasks gentle and easy with their power of tolerance so it is tolerance which is required to get things done it is tolerance which is required to bring about peace in the house or peace in your workplace those who have tolerance are leaders because they can make everybody work together whereas those who don't have tolerance they'll bring about disruption in the group in the family yes that's what happens they bring about disruption so those who have tolerance a virtue which can bind people bind organizations bind everybody their faces are seen as embodiments of virtues because you need humility right you can't be getting angry and intolerant and call yourself virtuous so god says only they can stay using the shield of the drama so they understand that in the drama all this is written everybody's got their sanskars i cannot push around by changing other people or ask them to change immediately for the work to be done in my way or the way i feel is right i cannot push people around i have to be tolerant it might take some time there will be a delay that's in the drama but the things would be done in the end so they are tolerant they have patience so they are full of virtues and it shows in the way they behave that's what baba was saying and at the end of the day we don't need to prove to anybody that we are right because if we are right it lot will be automatically be done that way and even if it's not done that way there is another method which was better that's fine you are tolerant you are humble you are content to yourself you don't need any name and fame from those people and to for them to claim or for them to say that yes you are good or you are better because you are content already right so you are tolerant at the end of the day you are a visionary who's focused on the getting the work done or having that thing done so you use virtues and that's what baba says those children are loved by me they are in my heart throne so i leave you with this beautiful vanda and if you have any comments if you think is something which needs to be also mentioned over here any topic which you would like we'll talk about it on this very channel of your see the soul that replies with it have a blessed day om shanti Thank you.